Hello, this is Larry the Cucumber. This is Paul Grape. We're back for another VeggieTales Live and Reloaded character commentary. I, I've been meaning to ask y'all, what does signing away mean from, you know, the end of the last commentary? Oh, yeah. I, what does that mean? I don't... I don't know. I, I just said it was on my mind. I was saying, like, going off or going away and then signing off or something. And I said signing away. I don't know. I was, I was saying many things at once and it came out as one thing. And then there's these guys again. Why haven't they learned their lesson? I know. I tried to tell them. I was like, fine, you can take Eddie Woodley, but egomaniacs ours. They were like, no, egomaniacs ours. We made egomaniac. But I think we'd want Eddie over egomaniac because yeah, Eddie's yeah. slightly better. Yeah, yeah, I think Eddie was a bit better than this one. Um, I told you, we shot ourselves in the foot. I, I, yes, but at the same time, it's also kind of like, well, we set ourselves um, a, a good reputation. Although, although yeah, now, now we can't beat ourselves. Well, now episode 5 is out, so at least there's that. Yep, yep. And now, uh, why'd you pick me to do this commentary? What? I know, but time up all the bananas. I'm so confused. Why did, why did that voice keep changing? Anyway, why'd you pick me to do this commentary? I'm not even in this episode. I only have, what, like, one line. Yeah, someone threw a, a, a violin on you. That was you. Yeah. I threw a violin. And it actually did land on my head, thank you. Weren't you wearing a helmet, though? Uh, I don't know. I, I didn't even appear. Well, um, we've got... Well, you, you're, you're, you're Peanut Butter Pa, and you were e Egomaniac's acting coach. Oh, that's right! I forgot I helped Egomaniac! And they should call him the Perfectionist! He'd always stop shots just to say, Oh no, I want to do a different inflection! No, I want to do a different motion! No, I need water, I'm thirsty! Yeah, 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 no, that, we got a brand new actor for him, so he was really determined to make a great debut appearance. And, uh, we never used him again, did we? No, we haven't used him again. Well, uh, what about, uh, Phil Anderson Henchy? Henchy, yeah, Phil. Um, Phil, Phil Anderson's his real name. That's the actor's name, and we figured, um, we'll just use that name for Henchy, too. So, um, Hen Hen oh, look, he just, he just said Henchy. Okay, imagine that. So, yeah, so Henchy, um, he's, he's just this guy who lives in his mom's basement. And, um, I, I met him once, um, at Chuck E. Cheese's. You go to Chuck E. Cheese? Yeah! That's where I met the porcupine from, um, Jonah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, oh, look, he's singing about Ica Beezer. That guy. Oh, man, that guy. That guy's a piece of work. You know, it turns out Ica Beezer's like this big CEO at the Thought Crafters Incorporated. Oh, yeah. Thought Crafters. That, that's a pretty big studio. Yeah, that's why he's so rich. But if you ask me, he's just like Squidward. Yeah, he might. I think he's pretty much just... I think he actually is Squidward in disguise. Yeah, so... So, um... Uh, what's going on? I just forgot what I was going to say. You were yeah, you were saying... <coughs> there. Sorry, I just uh, had some more of those spicy cheese curls. Before I got in here, I, oh, I, you I, did. Oh, oh no! no! You didn't <laughs> fix this. I I wasn't the one who was working on this one, so I. This... Well, who was working on this one? Um, I think it was. I I, th I think it was. Um, I think it was Philippe. I think Philippe was doing it. I don't know. He said that you were working on this one. Isn't this your screensaver? It's my screensaver, but I lent him my computer because I was going out of town for the weekend, and I asked him to finish up editing. Where were you going? Um, I I actually just. Um, well, I was going to go to Missouri, but um, my car broke down, and um, it, 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 it broke down just a few miles south, so I had to stay in this old rundown hotel. So was it still in Missouri, or was it... No, it was, it, it was, it, it was just south of us. Oh. It, like a couple miles, so I was just in a hotel. Until my car got fixed. Uh, how, how was the hotel? Oh, it was awful. 
But I, I, was I, it one of those Ramada hotels? Yeah, like, no, it, it was. Uh, those I, things are terrible. I think it was a Motel Six. Well, no, no, it was a Motel Four. No, Motel Four. Because yeah, I, have, I knew you couldn't afford six dollars a night. Yeah, yeah. So, have it, you ever stayed at Ramada? Ramada's no. terrible. Um, only I only once. Only once. Uh, you know that time we went to that. Uh, I think we went to. Um, oh yeah, it was San Diego. Um, you, me, Bob, and. Uh, was it Junior? Junior came for a little bit, but he had to go home sick. Oh yeah, and then there was uh, someone else came with me. I forgot oh, who I shared oh, the wait. with. Oh wait, should we talk about the the giant monster? Um, yes, just a sec, but I want to finish my story. Okay, finish wait, it was Archibald. Archibald came with us. Um, I Archibald and I shared a room, and uh, the the sofa was just filled with rocks. And like there were roaches in the um the bathroom and the kitchenette we had. We, so remember, you guys decided to tough it out, but Archibald and I couldn't take it, so we just moved to the Marriott Hotel across the street. Yeah, it was a little more expensive, but at least it was mostly bug free. So, so the singers there who was singing, um, Phil, Phil Anderson, uh, Henshi, he was one of the guys who was singing that. I could tell, he just sounds so enthused. Yeah. Yep, and, oh. But to be fair, you didn't really have anything to do with this. I didn't, but Jimmy and Jerry, um, they, they, to they um, gave me the behind-the-scenes footage, which is just a video camera of them. Like, this makes Lion and the King look good. I don't know about that, me and Archie were just watching that a few days ago. You oh, were? And you didn't tell me! Indeed. Well, you you were getting gas! I spent a half hour getting gas! Jimmy steps on one of the buildings. I don't know, you just told me you had to go get gas, so I figured I guess you don't have time. There's a gas station just down the street from the studio, and it's taking me like two minutes! I wasn't at the studio, I was at my house. You're at your house? Yes. Oh, you, why didn't you say so? I will stop you! You are getting gas. For like two minutes! Well, how was I supposed to know you would do it that quick? It's a thing called common sense! Usually, when I go to the gas station, it takes longer than that because I have to wait for the guy to come out and do it for me. Because I went on, on vacation to Oregon for a really long time, and in Oregon, they have people who fill up your gas for you, so I kind of got used to that. Isn't that illegal to, like, you can't do it yourself? Is it yeah, one of those you can't, states? Yep, you can't do it yourself, so... I mean, it helps jobs, but also promotes laziness. Yep. It's like that Bible Man episode, um, lambasting the legions of laziness. Lambasting, that's a good word. I haven't heard that word before. Um, <laughs> it's like, I know it means destroyed, because, you know, Bible Man usually has, like, d something doing with destroying the something of something. I actually met Bible Man at the Christian Entertainment trade show. Oh, oh I forgot! You, isn't that in the next episode? Well, yeah. Yeah, um, so, but, um, but it's already out. They already know. Which, which Bible Man did you meet? Miles Peterson or Josh Carpenter? I think... I think it was Miles Peterson. Uh, which one was he? Um, what, like, what was he wearing? Like, what kind of armor? Oh, oh it was his... His, his, his more recent one, but not his like. It, it, it was his most recent one. Yeah. So it was like the silver one. Was it silver or no, was it like? Okay, the, well, it wasn't silver. But what like what it, color was it? It was like the purple. Um, purple. What did it? Were his arms yellow or was I it, don't know. Well, no, if it's yellow, it's Josh Carpenter. And if it, what? What? I'm a. I. Tom's a Bible Man fan. <laughs> well, anyways. He has like this big Bible Man poster on his ceiling. It's like this weird thing and... Well, well I seen this show, it was, it's not it, good. It was Miles Peterson. I know that, because he told me. And he, I know I know Josh Carpenter when I see him. But anyways, so we met each other at, um, at Starbucks. And um, I, I I got um, a pumpkin donut. Oh no, the rumors are true. <laughs> yeah, so I was sitting down. I had my laptop out because I was um I was editing Samson, Samson the Great. Yeah, yeah. And, and it, well, no, it wasn't Samson the Great. It was because that one wasn't. It was whatever one we were working on next. Yeah. Um, wait, is it that episode six? I, I don't know, because well, it wasn't Spork because that was Archie. Archie did that one. Yeah, but well, so it must have been Samson. No, no way. I think I was, I was editing uh, the, the one before Spork. That was um, uh, two, two, tales. two Tales. Yeah, I was editing Two Tales because we'd already made it, but I was just like, like finishing it up. Yeah, finishing it up. Let's hope we actually get to see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, so anyways, um, so 
Yeah, I was there. I was had my laptop out. I was working on it, and I was about. I opened my donut up. Bible man walks up to me. He says, "Bible man wants your donut," and he just takes my donut and eats it. Bible man walks up to you and says, "Bible man wants your donut," and takes it away, eats it, and leaves. Yes, Bible man took my donut, ate it, and then he just left. And then he left saying. Bible man away! <laughs> what, did he even swallow the donut? <laughs> no, he still had the donut in his mouth. He's like, Bible man away! And I write stories about that, but I thought it was just made up! No, it's true. <laughs> No. <laughs> peanut butter paw. Oh, oh look, they just talked. They just talked about peanut butter paw. I think we missed your line. Oh come on! I was in for one second, one second, and we missed it. Oh well, at least we. Curse you, Bible man! At least we didn't miss my line. I'm mad at you, Bible man. You're under my skin. Well, Master Larry, please remember to control your. You know what? No, I'm just Alfred in this. I'm Alfred. I'm playing Alfred. It's Are you in some sort of? I got it. I got I'm, it. I, I, it's never I mind. I... Larry boy exists. Well, Larry boy, everyone. <laughs> well. Oh, oh finally, so someone actually made an impression on in this. Egomaniac. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. This um, was the um, one we did the fewest takes of, and it was seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you were there on that day. What, what was the most? The most? Um, it's when he was dressing up as Abraham Lincoln. We actually had to right, do it over the span right. of two days because we were wasting so much time. We all just lost track. Yep. I remember that. Because I, I was in that scene. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know if you were... I'm an inventor. If you were here on, like, this day we are filming this scene. It was, um... The first day of production, I think, is the first one we did. And you got had to, like, fix up your Larry Boy suit because it ripped or something. No, it didn't rip. Um, the plunger ear function malfunctioned, so whenever I would shoot it, it just would go... It would just, like... And then just fall up and fall fall to the ground. Well, doesn't that normally happen? Like, is it on string or does it actually shoot out? Because I, it, I'm confused with that. Well, it used to be on kind of like a bendy-ish pole, but in more modern times I've updated it, so now it's on like this rope. It's it's a pretty strong rope though, um, but like there's sometimes when you just shoot it out and it's just the suction here. Oh yeah, sometimes um, we rig it so um, we, uh, where we cut off the rope and we just we we just put the rope and we we take the rope out and just put the plunger on and then we can just shoot the plunger by itself. That sounds needlessly complicated. Yeah, it kind of is, but. Okay, we, that we have to have the rope on there, because otherwise we're not going to... No. I, I can't be Spider-Man. Yeah, Even though I'm more of a Batman. It's more of a Batman. Well, uh, originally it was going to be Bat-Bob, but oh, Bob yeah. just didn't feel like it. Yeah, well, well there was Bobbin, too. There was, there was also Bobbin. Yeah, no, the League isn't in this, probably by popular demand. Yeah, yeah, it, we, we mentioned it, I mentioned it. Yeah, but then there's like, Petunia's still a newscaster, Bob's no in sight, um, Junior's just a regular kid again. And Mr. Lund, he's not there either. Yeah. Is Mr. Lund in where this one? Uh, no, he's not in this no, okay. one. I think this is the... Anyway, this might be the only episode of... No, wait, no, I was gonna... He's not in Sporting Stone either, is he? I don't think so. All right, so thanking and complimenting me. I deserve it. So, um, this one, uh, Pride. Uh, didn't we already do this with Lego My Ego? Well, yeah, but that was like that cartoon adventures. So it's not canon. Yeah, yeah, that was. Those, those were just. Wait. Well, well it, it's not canon to the Veggie or to the Larry Boy universe, and the Larry Boy universe isn't canon to the Veggie Tales universe. You mean the universe? Well, yeah, because of course the Veggie Tales universe is the same thing as the real universe. Yeah, everyone knows that. Of course. Um, but yeah, yeah, the Larry Boy universe is not actually as much canon as I would like it to be. Well, you do it for fun. It's kind of like how we have the pirates who don't do anything club every Friday night. Yep. Yep. 
But I'm basically, Mr. Elon can make it to the last one, unfortunately. He had band practice. Band practice? Yeah. He's, he's in a band? Well, sort of. He's, he, he plays the drums in a rock band. Oh, the, the Green Milk Band! <laughs> the Green, yeah, the Green Milk Band. Um, which he's the only one on there who's not green. That, um, it, there's, um, a bunch, it, it's mostly broccoli. Imagine if Archibald was in that band. Yeah. Archibald in a rock band! <laughs> there's also, um, there's one, the Frank Kinsella used to be in the band, but he dropped out and they had to, to get a new guitarist. But yeah, so Mr. Lentz the only one in there who's not green, so they made him be the drummer. That seems kind of mean. <laughs> well, he likes playing the drums. So. Okay, that, I guess that makes sense, but why, did, why is it the Green Milk Band? Well, because the leads, well, the old lead sing singer, none of the band members are the same as when they started the band. Were you ever in the band? N no, I was never in the band. Alright, so why is it called the Green Milk Band? Because the person who made it, the original lead singer, is lactose intolerant. It's good to see. And, and they, that's why they made it green? <laughs> no, no. Um, actually, the, um... <laughs> so, okay. oh, this must be a really funny story. Or are you just thinking of Bioland taking your donuts again? <laughs> no, no, it's completely different. <laughs> but okay, okay. So, so he's he was green and he's allergic to milk. But so his other band members, which um, always forced him, they, they forced him to drink milk. They um, and in fact, all the other band members are his older brothers. Something tells me this is gonna end it with a toilet. It. There is a toilet, but it doesn't end on the toilet. No, but they always tie him to a toilet and force feed him milk. Um, why a toilet? Oh, oh, never mind, I think I just answered my own question. <laughs> so, um... Looks like Bumbleberg needs a hero! Oh, come on! So, um, so then he started a band and got all his older brothers to be his backups. Um, so... That, then, no, no, no. one by one, they all dropped no, no, no. out and got new guys, and now none of the people are the same anymore. Okay! That makes sense, I guess. Mr. Nezer was in the band for a short period of time. Mr. Nezer was in a rock band! He, he, he didn't realize it was a rock band, he thought it was a jazz band. Yeah, he's a good jazz singer. No, he doesn't. He's not. He's not the singer. He he plays the sax. Oh yeah, that's right. He he does sing, but he's a good singer. Yeah, yeah, but he didn't sing in that band. He 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 just played the sax. So how did we come up with the egomaniac joke? You know the 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 the. Because when we told him he was the egomaniac, he took it really seriously and decided that he was the egomaniac. Um. So, so, in fact, this first time, I didn't even know he was gonna do it, but when he did it, I just thought, I'm just gonna roll with it. And then after that, we, like, make it a joke. I, I, well, then again, we didn't go with that take, so we just had to keep doing well, well, it! Well, yeah, but we thought it was funny, so And we did take it, it from his acting coach, he stays in character throughout, like, all everything! So, is, is, is he now planning abominable tasks of evil? I don't know, we lost contact! Yeah. Now we had a little bit of a falling out towards the end of the production. Oh, we did? What happened? No, um, I did, as in he, me and him. Oh, okay. He still likes you, he still thinks you're cool. Oh, good, good. I think he's pretty cool too. We had a little bit of a fight. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh-oh. Um, it was at the rap party. We were up getting, um, some pizza. There was one slice of pizza left, and we were fighting over who was gonna get it, and then he just got so mad because we got so heated and yelling at each other, he just left. Have oh, a joke's on him, I got to eat the pizza! Well, it might have turned out better. Mr. Lunt, no, it wasn't Mr. Lunt, it was Jimmy. Jimmy took eight slices from each pizza at that party. Eight slices? Aren't pizzas normally like 12? Yeah. Okay then! So a lot of Except for the anchovies when he hates anchovies. He doesn't like anchovies, so Jerry ate that whole thing. Oh, I, oh yeah, and remember, he just like rolled it up and just ate it like a burrito. <laughs> yes, he did. Man, I wish we would have caught that on film. Yep, so um, all of, a lot of us had to split pieces because Jimmy ate too much pizza. And, and Jimmy didn't do anything the whole whole night. He fell asleep and was... Stuck on, he was on my couch because the rap party was at my house. And then when everyone left, he he was still on the couch, and I he spent the night there just because he was asleep. 
Very well, oh yeah, very and then a pair, um, I, I heard this from, I think you told Bob this and Bob told me, you were like pouring yourself a bowl of Lucky Charms and then a half-eaten piece of pizza came out? Yep. Yep. Was that Jimmy's? I, I, I still to this day don't know, but I assume it was. Please don't tell me you ate it. I didn't eat Did it. Did you save it for me? <laughs> I was hungry, I only got like seven slices. I eat a lot. Well then why didn't you give the slice to the egomaniac? I don't know. I mean, he had a lot too, he had three. Well, three and seven are have a four number difference. Yeah, but they're, they're still the same. I mean, it's not like seven and twenty. Does the red light mean it's on? I. And then again, Madame Blueberry didn't eat anything because you know she's on that diet thing. Oh, yeah. That, where she can only eat like specific things, and then she started giving us that health food election. Yep, Pet Petunia's on a di uh, on a smaller diet, but that's why I got the um I got the um I I, I mean we got some salad out for her because she she's okay with salad, which I think is kind of creepy, but well we made it clear that there are some inanimate vegetables. Yes, and there were inanimate vegetables in that one. Would I lie to you? Well, we just met, but. I say no. Anyway, um, what? Oh yeah, the pizza. The pizza. Yes. Where's the superhero? I think that's all I can say about that. About the pizza? Yeah. I did give it to my pet fish. Oh, yeah, you saw him dip this because that's Miranda Boy. Did they get one? Yep. Yep. I got a fish. Um. But, um. All these criminals on the loose. You so, know, wait, what? Into oh, we just missed it! <laughs> the Detroit <laughs> joke! We didn't miss it, we paused. <laughs> no, no, we didn't. I heard it. Don't forget to give an eye out. The, uh, the I heard the way Detroit. No, I heard it. The, when it, when <laughs> did Bubbly Bear turn into Detroit? Detroit? I thought we were gonna get letters on that one, but no, we didn't. We, we actually got one from got some guy who said he was from Detroit, and he said he, um... He, he said, although it's true, you didn't have to be so blatant, and we're like, Oh, I saw that one, but I actually read the address where it was from. He's actually in Muskoka, Ontario. <laughs> Canada! Why does he care about Detroit? Maybe he's just like, have you ever heard of a weeaboo? A weeab- a weeaboo is someone who's so obsessed with Japan that they believe they are Japanese. Maybe he's so obsessed with America, he thinks he's American. Detroit, to be specific. Detroit, yes. Ma it, it, we should have put that on the song of fun words to say back in Eddie Woodley. What? The woobie boo? Weeaboo! Weeaboo. The, the song that was never made it onto the film. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of oids on there. So why does Scallion one rhyme? I don't know. I I just don't know. I didn't write the. Well, I didn't write this one. I didn't write it either. I think Bob. No, it was Archibald. Bob never writes the Larry Boys. Archibald didn't either. He had so many notes on it. Oh, it was Mr. Lunt! That's right! Mr. Oh, yeah, Mr. Lunt. Well, we're gonna have to ask him why he made, um, Scallion one rhyme. Oh, man, reminds me of the peaches in this one! Right, he was an egomaniac, too, at the end. This is egomaniac! Oh, I mean, he was in Eddie Woodley. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'd give you a zero. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so that scale of 1 to 10, I'd give you a zero, that doesn't work, because it's from 1 to 10, so... It can't be zero. Zero is not on the scale. On a scale of one to ten, I gave you a clump of cheddar out of ten. That doesn't make sense though, because that's not on the scale. Well, don't doesn't that make sense? It's spinach backwards. <laughs> oh, I get it now. Yeah, get it spinach backwards. I can. <laughs> See, I get it. <laughs> spinach backwards. <laughs> spinach backwards. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. <laughs> Himself. Oh. Uh, so how was this scene? Like you were actually dangling on a giant building. Yeah. Yep. Um. That must have been scary for you. We want. I wanted to have my stunt double did it, but my stunt double wasn't in town. Please don't tell me it was that creepy stunt double. You know that guy, scary the cucumber. Scare? No, it's not scary the cucumber. We fired him. Oh, that's good. Because he tried to. He tried to eat Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> so Bible Man eats donuts and Scary eats guards. 
<laughs> Animate guards. Gourds. I'm pretty yeah. sure he was just joking. I said guard the same. So I, I said he Turn eats guard animate gourds at the same time as Larry Boy said gourds. Isn't that funny? Yeah. So why did we just say some gourd guy instead of Fibs Rumors Temptation? Excuse me. Um. And. And he er, and fear was the other guy. No, but he Our, said you said and some gourd guy. Well, um. Because no one really remembers the League of e Incredible Vegetables. I was about to say the League of Egomaniac. <laughs> that has to be our sequel. <laughs> so everyone is played by Egomaniac. And are you going to be all of their coaching? Uh, I hope not, because I don't think that would work. At least I would if I had Anyways, That would be bad. And this is how you repay me? This is like the only episode where Laura appears in Live and Reloaded. Oh yeah, Laura appears. She appeared at the start of Junior. We didn't talk about that then, but we're talking about it now. You know who hasn't appeared in Live and Reloaded? Mom Asparagus! Oh, just- yeah, yeah, she has. She's in Two Tails. Oh no, Mom Asparagus! Oh, I thought you meant- I thought you said Ma Grape. No, she's in it. Yeah. Mom Asparagus isn't in it! Yeah. I wonder how Dad Asparagus feels about that. Has Dad? Well, he has, but when, when was- he was- he was in Eddie, he was Clark. What else did he do? Did Dad Asparagus- That's it, I think. Oh, okay. Well, we'll have to give Dad Asparagus another role sometime soon. Sorry, man. Yeah, that, that makes sense, I think. I- I wasn't really listening. You're I kind of bounced off. Oh, I'm sorry. What was I saying? I don't know. I was like uh, daydreaming. <laughs> oh. Oh boy, here's the here's a Ram Lincoln. Excellent. My plan is working. If only we could have seen it. Now there's just one last thing. There's not a silly song on this, is there? No, there's not a silly song. Why did we not include one? Because it's the Larry Boy. There's never a silly song in the Larry Boy. The Lee got one. Well, yeah, but that hardly counts because it was Jimmy trying to be a superhero. And in fact, actually, that was based on the true event when Jimmy actually was auditioning to be on the leave. I thought that was Jerry Boy. Sort of. But no. So what happened? Um, so, so when we were making the League of Incredible Vegetables, um, Jimmy wanted to be in it because he, he said, Hey, I'm one of the main characters. I'm a pretty major character. I, I can do it. And I'm like, and... and he said, I even made a costume. So he shows me the superhero costume, and I think I thought it was hilarious, but I didn't think it would work as the actual superhero. So I told him we'd make a silly song, but I didn't actually make the silly song. Someone else did. Yeah, that makes sense. I sang the parts of the silly song, but I didn't make it. Because if I didn't sing it, I'd get fired. Yeah, that, that, that I understand that, because whenever we have anything that deviates from the norm, people complain. Yeah, yep. Yep. So, because we're gonna deviate from the norm, just so I could get letters for this, I'm gonna do this. Okay. Oh, what? I'm sorry, my ears popped. I didn't hear what you were saying. I, I, I don't even know. I just did, like, stuff. I don't know. Oh. I don't actually have ears. No one does. Um, well, I know some ears. Um, that rock band? They're Enough of this! Bring me my camera and my remote like thingy. Um, uh, so now, um, let's, uh, what what's happening in the movie? So, look, so, Ego Maniac here is. Oh, yeah, you just walked out on the job. Yeah. Away with you. Yeah, La I didn't. Larry Boy did. You are Larry Boy. Well, yeah, I am, but I'm playing. It's, it's the character of. Yeah, it's not actually like me. I would never do this. Are you sure you never do this? That, that was that one time you got so fed up with um one of the scenes you just left, and then you came back wearing like a tie dye shirt and like sunglasses and a clown afro wig, and you were carrying a wagon full of wooden carvings of beavers. You remember that? That was during my hippie phase. You had a one-day hippie phase. A one-day hippie phase. Can you describe that one-day hippie phase and what it entailed? I get- okay, so, um... So, so, so I needed to calm down after our strenuous scene. 
so I, I left the studio. Um, I left a two weeks notice because I thought two weeks notice meant you were going to be gone for two weeks and you're going to come back. I didn't really get the concept of what the two weeks notice was. And I didn't even, I wasn't even gone for two weeks. But anyways, I was going and then I got kidnapped by these hippies. And then they told me, they, they told me, you're gonna have to get used to it, Alfred. They, 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 they right. told me that, like, that I should oh, become a hippie, so I'm like, well, what, what does a hippie oh, do? Abraham, and like, they told me some things Abraham, that hippies do. Yep. Now, I thought that was just a dream you had after they had that candy in the diddles. Well, someone's gotta do it. I had a dream about what had already happened. You remember that in the diddles, don't I do. That, that was some weird... It was a weird... Pepper yes. chili Hold candy. Hold on, I, I'm getting a phone call. No, no. Those phone Hello? Calls. That's not it at all. You're I serious? This, but you're oh, I, I'm sorry. It's um, yeah. Uh, you're all right. right. Bye. I am so. Um, get a load of this. That was uh, Jerry. What did Jerry say? He was at a donut shop and Bible Man came and took his donut. What? <laughs> what is this? Why? Why did he call you and tell you that? I so don't know! Were you the, 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 he just thought- He has me on speed dial, just like the pizza guy. <laughs> so, so he, he, so Jerry's at the donut shop, he gets a donut, Bible Man takes his donuts, and the first thought Jerry has is, I better call Pa Grape and tell him. Yeah, that's the plot! He doesn't think, I'm gonna call my brother, I'm gonna call the police? No, Jimmy was with him. Oh, okay, did, did he take Jimmy's donut too? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he took Jimmy's donut. Okay, did you talk to Jimmy? Uh, no, I talked to Jerry. Well, what, what happened with me, I didn't call you when someone took my donut. Well, I did, but it was later. But the first person I called was the police, and I, I, I uh, they said 911 was your emergency, and I said Bible Man stole my donut, <laughs> and they said, Sir, 911 is not the place for prank calls. <laughs> it's like pr prank calling 911 is a federal crime, and I'm like, Well, I'm not prank calling you, Bible Man stole my donut. <laughs> oh man! And it turned out later on that Bible Man had had threatened the police not to do anything about. It. Bible Man was in the police station when I called them, pointing a gun at them. <laughs> or maybe he had his lightsaber. It was yeah, it's like if that thing even touches you, like explode. I mean, look at and how does like the fibla and stuff they get the anyway? This is turning into like a Bible Man commentary. Maybe we maybe we should do that sometime. We should commentate Bible Man. Or maybe ooh, that's a good idea. Or maybe like we could um do comment over. Can, can we do that though? Get, will, we, will we get sued? I don't think they sell Bible Man DVDs anymore, so I think that's fine. And we're off the hook. What's even happening in the movie? Let's see. Um, let me listen. It looks like oh, oh, this, oh, this is the turning point. Larry's learn. Larry boy has learned his lesson. But you aren't wearing your costume. Well, oh, and uh. This is like one of the few times you've actually solved the problem. Like in your first two adventures, you didn't do anything to solve the problem. What are you talking about? I battled a giant weed. And you lost. <laughs> well, how was I supposed to defeat a giant weed when Alfred couldn't tell me what button to push? Then you lost, then you lost at the fib. Well, uh, how could I do that when Alfred didn't tell me what to do? It's Alfred's fault, not mine. <laughs> no, it was the computer! It was the computer's fault! Okay, it was the computer's fault. Thankfully, he's got a new computer that goes a lot faster. He got a Mac. Man, he had to ditch the PC. Yeah. Did I tell you about my PC? Your PC? Oh, yeah, my PC, or uh, Blippy, as we call it. Oh, man, we hated Blippy. What did Blippy ever do to you? Well, at first we had a computer called Wizzo, and Wizzo stopped waking, so we went to Mad Mob's computer shop, and he's like, oh, get this one, and then he, he says, it's the Blippy. It's the Blippy system. And we thought it was funny, so we bought it, because he said it was top of the line, and, you know, we had to put on another mortgage for our house to buy it. Oh, this is Egomaniac's big... That was his big, um, his big meltdown. And you interrupted my Blippy story! I'm sorry, I just had to point it out. Like, well... Yeah, that was fun to hear. But anyway, Blippy, like, every time we boot it on, it always, like, starts spewing out smoke. And then there's, like, this picture of Newt Gingrich on there, and it's, like, its mouth is, like, 
Voice moving like a ventriloquist. It's the mouth. It, the it, as in the picture. Oh, okay, the picture. So like the, the picture. I thought you meant he. he he's an it. <laughs> Newt Gingrich is an it. it, it. Anyway, it's like Maybe it was Newt Gunroy. Was it Newt Gunroy? Uh, no. Newt Gunroy anyway, from like, Star Wars? He was like moving its mouth and he's like, Hello, would you like to smell my vapors? <laughs> And it was weird because, like, right. it was self-aware, and, like, we would move the mouse, and it would, like, it moved, like, so slowly, and then when we click on something, it'd say, Your computer has stopped working. Please reboot the system. And then we did, and it would take, like, 12 hours to reboot. So the next day we do it again, we'd see that picture of Newt Gingrich again. And we had that thing for two years, and that is why we've never been able to look anything up on the internet. And actually, right the day after, we recorded that Eddie Woodley commentary, we got a new one, which we call Lewis, and it works really well. Oh, okay. You see, my computer, well, my old computer was, um, I called him, um, well, well it was a Mac. Um, when I say Mac, I don't mean like an iMac or a MacBook, I mean a Macintosh, like, <laughs> an old Macintosh, I had that phone. Yep. Well, 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 there's also it was a Big Macintosh. It was a Big Macintosh. There's also QWERTY's, um, Qu Qu QWERTY's Bob's computer, actually. Um, really? Well, actually, he's technically the people who own the countertop's computer. Well, they do, do the they, people they're, realize they're, that the countertop's just a stage? Um, they, I don't think the people who own that house realize it. No, I mean, the audience. It's just the stage. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. There is someone who lives in that building, though. Yeah, it's, I the, think it's the other side. It's like, oh, a, I always, it's I a always, townhome thing. Oh, okay, I always thought there was some human who thought it was their kitchen. Uh, no, no, it's like, there's our stage at, um, on one side, you know the closet in the back? Um, it turns out that, uh, you know Bertram? Oh, yeah, Bertram? Yeah, Bertram, yeah. Y you're a college roommate? Um, uh, yeah, him. Uh, it turns out that he lives in there. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That's why you hear all those grunting and sneezing noises. I wish I had a clever comment to say about this. Larry Boy looks That's why you hear all that noises yeah. from the what, what, what kind of vegetable is Bertram? He's garlic. He's garlic. And he okay. smells. But he's a nice guy. He's a... Uh, he's kind of scary. He's got some... Sounds like, hey, get yeah, the new guy around here. <laughs> he really scares me. Wow, you're good at impersonating him. Yeah, I, we... In college, when we weren't doing our studies and going to detention, we were always impersonating each other. So can he impersonate you? Yeah, he... Uh, he yeah, he can. Huh. Just give it a try. It'd be really weird to hear, but yeah, I'm sure he can do it. No what was that? <laughs> well, I was pausing because I was well, well listening because it was a really interesting. It was a really interesting scene where we think um the egomaniac's gonna turn good, but he didn't. Yeah, that's good. And look, even in this one, you technically don't solve the problem on purpose. You do it on accident. Well, I still solve the problem, and I solve the problem in Bad Apple. Yeah, somewhat, and in uh, sort of in League. Not really. Robot That's why I said sort of. Uh, I didn't really solve any problem. All I did was the pull the gourd out of the exploding well, giant penguin. Well, look at the time. I gotta get going. The fact that I hardly remember that episode it makes all these details really weird. It, it, yeah, it, it's, so like, I was, me, Bob, Mr. Lunt, and Petunia were frozen in little blocks of ice and Junior had to destroy the penguin, so he did, um, Hang on, just a sec. Alright, continue. Um, so, the robot blew up, just like this one just did, um, and... I had, we, we were already melted by this point, this so. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I don't think the people want to hear a summary Okay, of yeah, I won't summarize it. <laughs> why do you, why, what is that? It's fun! <laughs> Try it! <laughs> no, no, you gotta loosen up your jowls and go. <laughs> my, my, my jowls? Jowls! Like my, this part of your mouth. Off into the just loosen up your, like, every side of your face and just go. <laughs> hey, you go! What? I don't. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. No, no, no. Yeah. So, so Mr. Nezer got a- this is his first real role in a Larry Boy. He had a background appearance in the fib. Well, a lot of people did. Yeah, the Peach even did. And so did Bob did, even though not- he didn't even know about the episode. We just told him, hey Bob, walk over there and look up. He's like, 
Okay. We, we, we gave him a nickel and he... And saw an animatronic Fib monster! Yep. Yep, the Fib was animatronic. We actually got somebody when the Fib was small. We have these... Can I have some? Can, can oh, 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 of course! This is the new variety of cheese curls they got! The barbecue? No, broccoli and Brussels sprout flavor. It's an acquired taste! Anyways, what was it? Oh yeah, yeah. We, we we did get a P. Um, we did get a little. There was a little P that we got to do the fib when he was small. Then when he was a little bigger, we got another P. But once you gain legs, then he was animatronic from that point on. And the weed was animatronic, right? The weed was animatronic from the beginning. The apple was animatronic. Larry Boy's animatronic. No, no. The apple was. We, we, um, that was a real poison. Yeah, yeah. I. She was. She, she was- I heard Larry Boy is animatronic! Larry Boy is not animatronic. Yeah, he is. No, he's not. Oh look, we're at the countertop! Well, that was fast! That was like one of the fastest 40 minutes of my life! Yeah, yeah, we- we kind of talked about this and that. And Bible Man. And Bible Man and Donuts. What is it, Bob? Wait, wait, where's the second part of the song? What did we learn song? Maybe it's broken. Maybe. Huh. Why does Bob hate so. that song oh, anyway? Oh, I fixed it. I think it's just that, um, because Bob's a control freak, and he has to have control of everything, and he doesn't like to be interrupted. You always talk this way about your best friend. Bob, you're not funny. Bob, you're a control freak. <laughs> well, it's like a running theme in these common days. You're always insulting Bob. Well, he's... I d Okay, Bob, um, Bob, the, the, um, emo the uh, opinions expressed by Larry are not necessarily the opinions of Larry. That makes sense. Even it feels like so, so, so Bob, he's a, he, he, he can be a control freak and he doesn't like to be interrupted. So when he gets interrupted by the What Have We Learned song, he feels like he doesn't have control and he gets upset. Oh boy, Jerry boy. Oh, we're going to talk about Jerry boy. Well. And there's two segments well, the, the thing is, they didn't explicitly them, talk about what the lesson for um, Ego Maniac okay, was. Well, in well it, it was the that, ego, uh, controlling your ego. Nice save Jerry here by you. Boy, Thank you. Uh, the Which actually, the monster really arrogant, was arrogant, because Jimmy, the and, who yeah. played the monster, he was right. really, like, We're puffed up. Well, season. both of them were. Well, I know. Hairy guy. Hey, Jerry, oh boy, this is my favorite part. Oh yeah. The top. Yep, this is a good one. Yeah. I'm getting suspicious about dream <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, dream wakes. Well, that nah. was a Oh boy, oh we got yeah. we got seven seconds well, left. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, I'm Paul Grave. I'm Larry the Cucumber. Bye! Bye. Bye. Yes.